What is up, people? I know it's been a minute. And the fishing has been slow in Delco. We've hit our cold period, which is fall and winter. But I'm gonna be out here today showing y'all how to fall fish, giving you some tips. Um, we are at a small creek out here in Delco. So um, take that for what it's worth. We're not gonna be catching any monsters today. It's just not gonna be on the agenda. Sorry to disappoint. But wanna let y'all know that going in. So if you're watching this video because you're hoping to see a huge fish, probably stop watching right now but if you just want to see how to hang out in the woods and have a good time that i can help you with so let's uh cue some b-roll enjoy As you can see, fall is upon us in Delco, and I love fall out here. I mean, the leaves are changing. Most of them have already changed, and honestly, most of them are already on the ground. So we missed the uh, pretty season, probably by like three weeks, maybe a month. But we still got some of the leaves on the trees, which is cool. And we still got my little fire shed here, and we are back at a very popular spot for the channel. The reason I like this spot during fall is because they have no pun intended, fall fish, which are great to catch this time of year. They seem to bite when it's cold, when the other fish won't. So my first tip with fall fishing, it is warm today. It is like 65 degrees. It has not been like that. So when you get those warm days, cancel everything you're doing. Make sure you get out here and try to catch some fish. It gives you your best chance. Alrighty, people. I uh, tried to lure for a little bit, and uh, that lure was a trout magnet and just wasn't getting any bites. So I'm going to put some bread on. As always, I say this every video, check your local laws if you can even chum the water. Some states it's not legal. Here in Pennsylvania, totally legal. I'm gonna throw a couple pieces of bread out there and then bait my hook with some bread and see if we can catch uh, one of our friends, the good old fall fish. Probably the only person that makes fall fishing videos. Fall fish fishing videos, there we go. I don't know that I've ever seen another one on YouTube. And the truth is, it's probably because nobody watches them. <laughs> but that's all right. We like doing it. It's what a lot of this channel's become, y'all. I don't do this because I make a profit, because I don't make any money. I just do it for fun. And maybe somebody sees this and they go, hey, I can extend my fishing season a little longer and it'll make them happy. That's the goal. And it looks like we've got one of our friends coming over, turned away. There's definitely a, a fall fish in there. How's the commentary working out here? Got six pound test, which is way too much for this. And a one 64 ounce jig head. Oh, well, I told you we weren't going to get big fish, but this is even smaller than I was anticipating. And it's actually not a fall fish. I think it's a crick. No, it's a fall fish. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there's our fall fish. Cool native species. Whoops. There he goes. There's a bigger one in there. I'm gonna see if I can catch him. God, it's beautiful out here. I'm not even kidding y'all. I might have to lose this, uh, this sweatshirt. It is nice. There was a big fall fish in there um, earlier. We'll see if he's still hanging around. Yep, he's in there. All right. Yeah, some people might ask, like, what's the enjoyment of coming out here and catching these small fish? And it really is to do with the outdoors. If y'all don't like being outside, this ain't for you. This type of fishing is really for people that um, think fishing's more than just about the fish. I guess we're doing a philosophical episode right now. I guess we're doing a philosophical episode of Delco Nashville Line. Ooh, something bit that pretty like ferociously. Oh, I don't know if there's something small biting that or what's going on. It's got to be small. Oh, there's a bigger one behind it. Bigger one. What is you? And there's a nicer fall fish. He's a little nicer, but they still get much bigger than this. 
Should we make this the thumbnail? Should we? Hey, let's make this the thumbnail. All right, let's let our buddy go here. They're such cool fish. Where's the sun? Oh, here we go. They're such cool fish. I like his little red on his fins. Cool thing about fall fish, native fish. They've been here since uh, Native Americans were here. Some of the other fish species were introduced here. They're native. We're on a roll. Usually fall fishing is slow. I was curious if maybe we'd see something else just because it is a bit warmer, but it seems like fall fish. And if you're still watching, then y'all just like to do what I do, which is cool. And it probably means you're uh, a pretty little subscriber. So little plug here, y'all. I'm trying to use Instagram more. If you have Instagram, look me up on Instagram. Delco Nashville line and uh, shoot a follow over there because we're going to be doing some cool competitions this year. I'm thinking about doing like a end of the year fishing challenge where we'll vote on the coolest fish that a subscriber caught in what are we at 2023 and we'll do like a little prize but just a fun way to keep us interactive through the winter when fishing slows quite a bit oh that feels like it's gonna be a fish oh no way I was not expecting this guy. We got our friend, the beautiful red breast sunfish. I'm gonna wet my hand. A cool native species again. This is a really cool catch for fall. And that's what I was hoping was that uh, with the fall weather, maybe a couple of these guys got woken up with the, not the fall weather, the warm fall weather. Let's take a look at this guy. I mean, I love these fish. Very, very underrated and underappreciated fish. Whoops. And there he goes. <laughs> I feel like this video, I'm just repeating everything I've ever said in a video. Whenever I hold my fish up, I know they can slip out of my hands. Always do it over the water. They fall in. They don't get hurt. What else have I said? Check your chumming local listings. If you watch one of my videos, it just feels like some of these are on repeat. Not such a bad thing, I guess, to get in a habit of doing something you love and you just continue to do it how wild is it that we are on a two species day in late fall too early fall you can still get on both but late fall what we're doing is not common people just another reason why i always tell people use those ultralight rods i mean they're fun just catching those fish are fun you're out here with like a five foot, well, I guess if you're out here with like an eight foot bass rod, that's not much fun. <laughs> Normally I would um, use two pound test or four pound test to catch these type of fish. You don't really need six pounds, six pounds complete overkill. But I just happened to have a rod that was ready to go with six pound test and I made a late decision to come out here. What do we got here? Looks like our friend, the fall fish. Didn't notice a lot this size. I mean, these just aren't anything to brag about, but what is this? Our third fall fish of the day, our fourth fish. You just can't beat that for fall fishing this late in fall. Beautiful day, fish are active. Oh, oh, come on, buddy. cool fish my intent is not to bore y'all with a million fall fish so uh we'll see if we can catch one more and then we'll probably include one more that's it and um if we catch three more i'll just include the biggest one and that'll be that all right we saw a uh 
a little strike from a fish on a bread I threw in. Oh, got it. He's not so little. He's like taking drag. What do I have? Well, that's a trout. No way. Oh no, get out of there. Are you kidding me? I didn't bring my trout net because I wasn't expecting to catch one. What the heck? Fall fishing out here with Doko Nashville line, even I don't know what we're gonna get into. How am I gonna land him? Oh. He is barely hooked. But oh my gosh. That's cool. Uh, you know what? We're gonna change this. We're gonna use him as the uh, thumbnail. Okay, people, so everything I said in the beginning of this video, you can disregard now. <laughs> it's a cool little brown trout. Um, really cool, because I wasn't expecting him. I thought I saw a trout or something swimming around in there. It looked a little different. And there he goes. What the heck? And that's why we come out here and fall fish. I mean, that had to be a holdover from the initial stocking in spring because they don't stock this creek in fall. That's crazy. I thought I saw something coming through that looked like a trout because it looked bigger than a fall fish, but he wasn't biting. So I thought, man, it's probably not a trout. It's probably just a big fall fish or a sucker or something. That was crazy. I threw my bread in without a hook, just chumming a little bit, and he, uh, he hit it. And I thought it was a big fall fish, so I threw mine in with the bread on the hook, and boom! Next thing you know, I got a brown trout. And I didn't bring my trout net because I wasn't expecting to catch a trout. That's crazy! And that's why we're out here. <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> on that note, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm going to happy hour. That was fantastic. I was not expecting a trout today. I wasn't expecting a sunfish today. And we got both, so that's awesome. Uh, again, the two big tips that I got for you for fall fishing. One. Take advantage of the warm days. Two, use bait. Lures just don't work that well this time of year, or at least they don't work that well for me. Um, if y'all want, you know, look up other YouTube fishermen and see how they do it. But this is how I do it. And I always tell people this, if you wanna get the fall fishing, you've gotta love being outdoors and you gotta love nature because there's gonna be days where you come out here and you might not catch a fish, or maybe you only catch one, and maybe it's just those tiny fall fish, but I love them. I love coming out here. I love catching those fish. I just love being out here. It's just what I love to do. So hopefully y'all see that in my videos and I hope some of y'all feel the same. And if you don't, that's not a problem. I understand some people just wanna fish for the sake of catching fish. I get that too. But that is a long rant on my idea of fall fishing, what it is, what it's not. So hopefully y'all enjoyed. See y'all.